Hey guys, this month we're going to talk a lot about local advertising, how to how to really start creating some leads in your local market. I believe in geographical credibility. I just I just believe that it's something that's not talked about enough. If somebody contacts you and say, "Hey, I go to church with your your aunt that lives in the same community that you live in," then you got they've got your ear versus if they're calling from another state or another city or uh, another country. So I just believe in that and, and I believe it stacks the odds in your favor in the beginning if you can really focus on local community and local advertising. I got a lot I need to cover, about 35 years worth of information in a real short period of time, so stay with me today. But the thing that I really want to communicate is If you haven't launched in your local market, then don't jump into this. There's nothing more valuable than launching in your local market. Without question, the best lead you will ever receive is, is from a referral, a satisfied customer or someone that is in the warm market of a person on your team. That's, that's that credibility that's the best lead you're ever going to have is a referral. So you have to really wrap your mind around that or you're missing a big chunk of what it takes to really build a growing, duplicating organization down the road. Now, with that said, all marketing is math. And this month we're going to talk about things that are not that expensive to implement and that will work when done consistently. But you've got to be careful. I've seen so many people get involved and then, like last week, I talked to someone and they were, they were thinking about advertising on the bags that your medicine comes in from the pharmacy. And you've probably seen them. There's six or seven block ads on a pharmacy bag. I tried it 20 years ago. I know other people that have tried it when I told them, no, don't do that. But it was going to be, she said, two to three hundred dollars for a thousand bags. That's outrageous. That's really, it's outrageous. So be careful where you put your money. I mean, we just, tonight, I was talking with Don, my wife, and someone that we work closely with has just invested money in something that they shouldn't have invested in. And I've seen people, you know, throw money, I'm going to buy these leads. The best lead you can you can ever have is a referral. The second best is one that you personally generate. So our goal and your goal should be over time to become a lead generation master. Just master lead generation because the process is the same. You get a lead, they go to play one, play two. What questions do I need to answer for you before we get you started? It's the same process, the recruiting process. The customer acquisition process is always the same, but leads can be created multiple ways. And and another thing I've seen people, well, Dale, uh, uh, I'm going to see if you have people that do that that, res that 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 respond to this lead method and join, then you know I'll take another look at it. All a lead can do is create a response. Whether they join or not has nothing to do with where the lead came from. It's like, you know, everybody's saying, well, we gotta go on social media to create leads. There's nothing wrong with social media, but you know, a lead is a lead is a lead. Wherever it comes from, doesn't matter. What happens after that lead has been developed with play one, play two, is a determining factor whether they get started or not. So a lead is a lead, and, and every lead that you can create, you want to create. But all marketing is math. Now, I'm just going to give you a real quick example, because this is recent. Talking with someone, and on their Fast Start bonus, they make $30. $30. That's how much they make when someone joins uh, as a customer or a team member. $30. So they got... And I told them, okay, so we have, we can pay, we can spend up to 
to generate a customer. Well, Dale, if I do that, then I'm not, I'm not making any money. And see, that's how traditional business owners think. In this profession, I will go negative on the front end for a customer or distributor all day long because of one thing, duplication factor. Duplication factor. Because hopefully they're going to buy your product or service more than one month. If, you know, one month, suspect, two months, prospect, three months, customer. This business is about developing customers and team members. You don't want them to join and then be gone in 90 days, right? I mean, that's not, that's not, that's not any fun and it's a waste of everybody's time. So if, in this example, $30 on the front end, and I'm going to use drop cards because we're going to talk about that in a future video, but drop cards are just a business card with a classified ad. And I love them because they it requires no additional time in your week to implement them. implement drop cards when you're in the market you just put a couple on a, on the gas pump leave a couple at the with your tip at the restaurant and when you're just your daily activities your daily life you can get out you know 50 100 or more drop cards every single week just and people pick them up and they read and if they're interested they can call so drop cards so the ones that we recommend the ones that we use are hundred dollar bill drop cards they look just like a hundred dollar bill if they're laying on a counter you know it looks just like a hundred dollar bill which you'll see in future videos so those I think are about two hundred fifty dollars for five thousand now if you can get with any type of advertising, if you can get a three to five percent, three to five percent response, that's normal. If you're doing direct mail, postcards, anything that you're doing, you're looking for about a three to five percent response. So we'll just say three percent of five thousand, which would be 150 responses. So you have 150 people from these five thousand cards. That have responded and let's say out of those 150 only about half you know even evaluate so 75 and from those 75 we'll just say you know you got people from here to here and from those 75 that really take the time to get information let's say that 20 percent 20 percent one out of five 20% join you or buy your product, so you're looking at 15 customers. Is that right? I think that's right. But you can do the math, get out your calculator. <laughs> 15. So you got 15 customers. And let's say in this, this example here at $30, so that's $450 in upfront commissions in your pocket. $450. $450. Now, what did it cost you to create that 450? When well, our example here, 250. You spent, you invested 250 in drop cards. It returned you 450 dollars. You can take your hero product and run your own numbers. But my point is, it's all math. If you could do this, how many how many drop cards would you want to get in the marketplace? And see, it's the same with everything, guys. It's the same with direct mail. It's the same with everything. So before we get into all this, I needed you to understand the math and the ratios. And you keep your own math and your own ratios. Here's what most people do. They get 5,000 drop cards. They go out over the weekend and they put 12 out. And then they go home and just wait for the phone to ring. Oh, they don't work. It's all numbers, guys. Numbers, exposures. You're looking for the right people at the right time in their life. The more messages you have in the marketplace, the better off you're going to be. I was reading recently where we are exposed in the United States to about 5,000 different ads every day. You know, everywhere we go, everywhere we look, you can't even pump gas without them showing videos 
promoting products now. So I talked to someone else last week. They're a six-figure earner. Never done anything locally. They wanted to run a quarter page ad in their newspaper inviting people to a seminar. I said, I guarantee you it will not work. You might have one or two people show up. If you could run a quarter page ad and get 50 people in a room, it's game over. It's, and it's not going to happen. You know, I was working with a company last year and the guy said, well, we're going to be able to get 600 people in the room every weekend. I said, if you can get 600 people in the room, it's game over. You win. But because think about it, something that you might have a little bit of an interest in and there's an ad in your local paper, which newspapers in general are dying. But are you going to get up on Saturday morning and go to a seminar when you don't know who's going to be there, how long it's going to last, what's really going to be going on? No. It's, and people say, well, Dale, they do it in infomercials. Yeah, but you don't understand infomercials. All infomercials are, all the infomercials are doing, they're just hoping that you will come to the, the evaluation seminar, spend $997 to get their introductory kit and that they can break even on the front end because their back end from 997 they go to 5000 from 5000 they go to a $25,000 program. That's how this is working, guys. So I mean again, I could spend hours talking about this. I'm not going to. But it's real important before we get into the rest of this month that this concept of math and numbers that you really grasp it and you take your hero product and understand your numbers because if you understand how much you can pay to acquire a customer in this case thirty dollars or even more i would i would go negative some people don't but if you can if you can acquire a customer for thirty dollars spend all the money you can spend to get as many customers as you can so i hope that helps you talk to you real soon have a great evening great day wherever you are in the world